Hi, it's me again, Brad, and I'm back with another YouTube video. I really hope you're enjoying these as much as I am making them. They're a lot of work though. You really gotta know what you're talking about. <sighs> I never know what I'm talking about. But I got the kids from Clueless here today and we're gonna talk about luck and being lucky. Oprah Winfrey and one of my teachers once told me, luck is nothing but preparation meets opportunity. Think about that for a second. Preparation meets opportunity. There's no such thing as luck out there, people. <clears throat> I believe in karma. Karma is my religion. Don't care. And to me, karma means what you put into the world is what you put get back, okay? So you hit your sister, you're probably going to get grounded. Karma. You backstab your best friend, she finds out, she kicks your ass. Karma. Uh, ooh, you scratch someone's car by accident, you drive out of the parking lot, and you fall in a sinkhole. Karma. I think Drake said it best. Karma's a bitch. You just better make sure that bitch is beautiful. So, luck. I've sometimes felt lucky, but you have to look at the situation at hand. Are you actually getting this like cosmic power that's bringing you all this luck? Or is it just something that, you know, you've worked hard and something happens? Like, one time I did this amazing modeling job in Aruba. I, you know, everyone was saying, you're so lucky, you're so lucky they're going to fly to Aruba, put you up in this suite, and you're going to shoot on the beaches of Aruba and travel all over and you're going to be amazing, blah, blah, blah. There was no fucking luck involved, okay? Do you know how many fucking auditions I've been on in my life? Do you know how much preparation at the gym? You know what I mean? Like, I had to make sure that my body was perfect. I had to make sure... It's not. It is not, okay? My body is not perfect at all. But I had to make sure that I had a solid canvas to work with, okay? I had to make sure that, you know, I was looking right. My skin was looking right. This is preparation, okay? Preparation met opportunity when I went to an audition and they gave it to me. You know what I mean? My agent set it up. You know, I went to it. I went to it. I thought for sure I'm not going to get it. There were these guys in this audition and you're thinking like, these are fucking models. Like, I'm a model, but I'm not a model, you know what I mean? I'm not walking runways, I'm not doing editorials, I'm doing like lifestyle and shit like that. But like, you know, these guys are models, they have been shooting in underwear, they've been on beaches all over the world, and I left that audition thinking, fuck, I am not gonna get this, this is not gonna be mine, and I did. It had nothing to do with luck, people, it had everything to do with preparation meets opportunity. And I think that for those of you out there who have a dream or want to do something with that, you really got to focus on what it is and do it. But you got to prepare for in case that opportunity comes to you, you can jump on it. You can ride that fucking horse and take it all the way to the bank if you, if, you know, if, if it makes you money. Not everything in this world makes you money, don't. <laughs> Anyways, so next time you think to yourself, I'm so lucky, I'm so lucky. You're not, you're not lucky. You actually, it's better because you prepare for it. You know what I mean? When was the last time you were walking down the street and some bitch pulled over and was like, oh my God, you are so beautiful. And the next day you're walking on the fucking runways of fucking vote for Vogue and shit. That's not happening. You know what I mean? And everyone thinks that is. But unless you're Naomi Campbell, Christy Turlington or Kay Moss, that's not happening. That's never going to happen for you, for me, or for anybody. So let this be a lesson for those lazy people out there. You know what I mean? If you want to do something, you're going to have to work because that opportunity is not going to come knocking at your front fucking door. It's just not. And I love coffee, guys. Ooh, same cup as last time. 
So let's just get real with something. You want something, you better fucking work for it. And if you don't, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. End of discussion. End of. On a lighter note, you look great today. You look absolutely beautiful. Is that a new hairstyle or a new shirt? You're not even wearing a shirt. I see you watching me in your underwear. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for dealing with my bullshit, for listening to me rant. Like, subscribe, and share. I really, really want you to start commenting about things that you want me to talk about. And I will. And I hope that you all have a great day. And I hope that your preparation meets opportunity, smacks you in the fucking face. Mwah! I'm out. Bye, guys.